Saganaki right. made fresh in how? Oh. Yes. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> and the sizzle, oh my God. Okay, here we go. You're gonna try it with okay. me, right? Okay, yeah. It's like my favorite thing, so. I love Saganaki. Oh my Is it God, it's so good. Nice, salty, dense with a nice chew and the pool. Oh my God, mm -hmm. it's so good. Hey, what's up? It's Luis with America's Best Restaurants and we travel the country coast to coast to find the places where you need to eat at on a weekly basis. And today we are in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at a restaurant called The Rustic Tavern. And I'm not even sure what we're gonna find. Is it gonna be burgers or is it gonna be something else? Well, let's find out on this episode of America's Best Restaurants. Penny? Hi. Oh my God, I'm so excited to be here. I'm excited for you to be here. <laughs> because I went, I pulled up, I wasn't expecting, now I see this giant horseshoe bar. I can't wait to get into it. I can't wait to see what you guys have in store for us today. Well, speaking of that, I actually had something ready for you to try today. Okay, what do you, what do you I want? have our saganaki, which are our flaming Greek cheese. You're joking, you have saganaki? I have saganaki. Okay, so are you ready? Be careful with this, with the fire. Let me lean back a little bit. There we go. Okay, so Saganaki. Okay, so for cheese, we are Greek. Okay. My husband and I are both Greek, all yes. Right. Well, you know what? That was that was the first surprise. I wasn't even expecting that at all. Yeah. So I'm excited. I love Saganaki, you know? You're gonna love this, there I promise. There are so many, even Greek restaurants that don't have it. I know, or they don't light it on fire, which is kind of defeating which the whole purpose. doesn't even make any, like, I don't understand. That doesn't make yeah. sense. Yeah. Here. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Give it a try. So See Saganaki made fresh in how? Oh, yes. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> and the sizzle, oh my God. Okay, here we go. You're gonna try it with okay. me, right? Okay, yeah. It's like my favorite thing, so. I love Saganaki. Oh my it God, good? it's so good. Nice, salty, dense with a nice chew and the pool. Oh my God, mm -hmm. it's so good. I love Saganaki. <laughs> it is so good. It is so hard to find. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm. Rich. Austin, you're gonna have to try this big yeah, camera, I promise you. Oh my God. I love Saganaki. <laughs> Me too. So super I don't even remember the last time I had Saganaki. I only eat ours. Oh my God. <laughs> well, if this is how we're starting, I can't wait to see what's next. I can't wait to see. Tommy has a great morning really? planned out for you, yeah. So let me ask you a question. When we pulled up, I, again, I wasn't expecting this. So did this used to be something different before, before it became a restaurant? In the beginning, it was a gas station. Okay. And then it was slowly turned gas station to bar and then bar to restaurant and just kind of in sections added on. Okay. And, and that's All right, how... well, we're gonna get into that in, in a little bit, but okay. can I can I go and do back? Absolutely, to Tom is waiting for you. Okay, so perfect. he's got a some? whole thing playing out with you too. Awesome, love it. Coming up next. All right. Okay, Tom. Trial by fire with me right now, right? I think you'll be fine. All right. Okay. I think you'll be fine. So, what are we making? This is one of our most popular dishes. Okay. Pasta dishes. Uh, pasta zorba. Pasta zorba. Okay. And uh, what we got here, fresh scallops. Okay. Got it all laid out. Bay shrimp for you. Okay. Look at this. Boom. We have your roasted cherry tomatoes, garlic feta, okay. fresh spinach, this. salt right. pepper, heavy cream white wine. Okay, all right, where do we start? I got clarified butter up here for okay. you. All right. Oh. No, no, you're no, good. No, no, go ahead, man. Okay. No, you're good. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, just one ladle? That should be fine. Should be fine? Okay, cool. You can add and deglaze as you go. Okay, yes, sir. Now you want to start with your scallops. Okay. Right. Oh, we gotta get the pan going. Let that get a little bit. Okay. Let that get a nice little heat. Okay. And as that goes up, that'll give you a nice little sear. Yeah. 
So we saw a lot of these on these. I mean, Do you? Mainly, yeah. Do you? Marlo back here does, I don't even know how many he's made in oh, his yeah. life, but it's a lot. Okay. All right. That's cool. All right. We're good? It's nice and hot here. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to put that bad boy in there. We're going to let that cook for a little bit, let it yep. get a nice little sear. We're going to let it get a little hotter. Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll yeah. Be fine. It'll be fun. You do okay. a lot of cooking too. What's that? You do some cooking too? Yeah, yeah, oh, I do. I do. I just want to follow your direction. Oh. You know what I mean? I think I can walk away and you got it from there. You think so? I'm pretty sure. As long as I know the process, I think yeah, it should be good. It'll be fine. No, but this is good. Yeah. All right, now we're going to have some garlic. Okay. Put a little bit of garlic. Not the whole thing. No, 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 no. Just part of it. About that much? That's good. That's good. Okay. All right. You want to do a little bit of salt and pepper? Okay. You can just sprinkle a little bit. There you go. Perfect. That's good. Okay. All right. We're going to let that brown just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Once it cooks down, we're going to add a little bit of white wine to glaze. To glaze it. Mm -hmm. And add your shrimp. Okay. Good. Pretty easy. Good. So let me ask you about the menu. Is that the, is the menu your creation? Pretty much, you know, we try a lot of things throughout the okay. year. We've been here, like I said, 21 years. Okay. So we saw what was selling, and then we saw how the change went from, it slowly went from bar food to, hey, let's make get some fresh scallops. Let's okay. get this. Oh, uh, okay. And it was our crab cakes that my father, you know, I mean, yeah. was known for. We kind of went, went from there. Yeah. We kind of went from there. All right, we got a nice good right. on there here now. All right, get it on that pot. You can add your shrimp. All right, shrimp. Thank you, sir. Okay, now you want to get your white wine. Okay. Just a little bit? Yeah, throw a little deglaze there. Let that cook in there. Yeah, I think it's, when you start off with a good fresh product, yeah, it's all about how you take care of that. Yep, product. yep, so, exactly. Yeah, that's where we're at with this. We, so, we get a lot of fresh seafood in. I mean, I get a delivery every day but Friday. Really? So, oh wow. Uh, okay. You know, we and I could get Friday, but I usually load up on Thursday whenever mm -hmm. we do. Okay. So, uh, you know, we got a good. Even though we're in Pennsylvania, we get a good seafood supply. Okay. Now, as you can see right here, I mean, they, they look gorgeous. They're they're great. Beautiful. Those are like U10 scallops, right? It's actually a U15. Okay, U15. Okay. Um, it's kind of hard to get U10 consistently. Is it? And a U15 is something we can get more consistent. Okay. All right. All right. Your shrimp are cooking down the okay. nice here. All right. All right. Now as that's cooking, you want to add your spinach? Your spinach? Do you have the whole thing? Go ahead. Yep. Good for you. There you go. Popeye would be proud. Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. Now you want to add your tomatoes. All right. You kind of want to just let that cook. Let the okay. shrimp cook through. Yeah. Let your let it, let, have a down. Party, right? let it all marinate together. Okay. Yeah. All These right. tomatoes are amazing. So. so. So let me ask you this: while this is cooking. What is the dish that you make that best represents who you are? I think you're going to be eating it. Is right it? Now, this is the yeah. one? Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Greek heritage. Yeah. We got, you know, we love our seafood, love right. spinach, love tomatoes, love feta cheese. Yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong. Right. We also do a, where you can get a steak and you can add a Zorba shrimp to it. So, okay. We do a smaller version of this with like four shrimp. Uh huh. You can get it over like a filet mignon or a New York strip. Oh yeah, it's good. Oh, man. It's good. Come on, it's good. Yeah, this is look. I mean, look at look at how the colors here. I wish you could smell this. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we that got it rolling great. here, nice and right. done. Yep. Spinach is getting soft. All right, shrimp are cooked through nice. Scallops are cooked through nice. Nice. All right, now you want to add a little bit of heavy cream, okay? Go ahead. Add a little bit of this. As you can tell, we're, we're precise on our measurements, but uh, when you do this every day that a lot. That or a little bit more? Just a little bit a little more. A little bit more? Okay. 
Perfect. That good? Perfect. Okay. All right. Now, you want to just take this and okay. crumble it on through. Okay. Nice. All right. And then you're going to let that marry in with everything, okay. all the other flavors. This looks crazy good. Everything is happening right now. Everything's combining perfectly. Having that flavor party. Oh, man. Now look at this. We already did pasta this morning. Right. right. So we're going to put that over there. Okay. You want to just keep that sauteing together? Let's see if I can do this. Oh, uh, you got it. There we go. A little bit too high. But... Back in here. Not you're, that bad. Not uh, that bad. You're getting there. Move. You're getting there. Yeah, you're getting there. I don't have the move yet, but you know. A couple of weeks, bad. we'll give you some more hours. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, get your bowl. Okay. All right. There you go. Yeah. I'll let you scoop that pasta right in here. Okay. We usually twirl it when we do that. Okay, okay. So, so do, you, do you typically it. just pull it and then twirl it and then put it on the plate? Yeah, we okay. just do it. Let's get the okay. water out nice. All right. This. Nice al dente pasta. Okay. Now you have this cooked up. And then this just goes over it. Is that nice? Do you yeah. like the consistency of that sauce? That looks great, man. All right, finish it up. Okay, so we just put this on there top. Put it over here. It's awesome, you get a great shot of it. There we go. Now you can put that right there. Take another sprinkle of your feta cheese as a garnish. Oh, there you have it. That's it, that's the one. I mean, come on, look at this. That looks good, man. That looks damn good. I'm not gonna lie. I like I like the consistency of the sauce. Got a little pink from, from the tomatoes. Everything looks fantastic. The next thing that I, I gotta try this stuff. We're gonna try it like right now. Let's tear it up. All right. Alrighty, so now it's time to try. We got some forks off cam, so grab some of this scallop if I can get it. There we go. Oh my god, come on man. Are you kidding me? Mm. The scallops are perfect. The sauce is nice and creamy, but it's not super heavy. Salt, pepper. I can really taste the, the tomato, the spinach. Man, this is amazing. And that, the feta. Yeah, I got it. That feta was an unexpected surprise, man. It just gels well with everything. This, this is insane. Mm. Thank you. Oh my God. You did a good job cooking it. Thank you. You did a good job of teaching me, let me tell you. <laughs> this, I promise you this, this is not gonna last. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. Tear it up. It's probably gonna be a bad idea, but it's all good. You got a lot more coming. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my God. Well. Let's go outside and see what's next. Cool? Let's do it. Do it. All right. So now we are here with the final gigantic dish. We had that incredible saganaki cheese. Uh, yep. We had the shrimp and scalp zorba pasta. Come you did on. a good job on uh, it. Yeah, you did an excellent job. I did a, I apparently well. did a good job in the kitchen and eating it because it was gone. Right? <laughs> and then now we have, what do we have here? This is a giant piece of steak. I see you got a crab cake here, award winning. All right. And we got scallops. So what is this called? This is part of our mixed grill. Okay. Uh, we upgraded you to a Delmonico. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Uh, but we have, I wanted you to try what we're really known for. Okay. And you know, we already made our, our Zorba pasta. Uh -huh. um, now you're gonna have a here in our mixed grill menu. You can choose from. So it's like a mix and match. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah. Choose so, two or choose three. Comes with two sides. Okay, comes okay. with two sides. It's a good way if it's your first time to try a little bit. So, you can so it's kind of like a super size sample. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. especially this one. Yeah, this giant piece for big boys and girls. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so okay, you have your your main scallops that okay. we boil. You have our homemade crab cake, obviously, and then. 
Yeah. What that is our Delmonico. Where do I start? Do I start on the steak or the crab cake? Which one? Well, you started off with seafood last. Yeah, I would probably uh, start with the with the turf yeah. first. Yeah. Maybe you want to clean your palate with the parsley first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So let me cut a piece of this here. Okay. Oh, that's nice and tender. Come on. Great flavor. That is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. Wow. Hold on. We cut another piece here so that Austin can get it. Let me see. Here we go. Decent job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We all so, we use all upper uh, choice meat. Uh, this is phenomenal. Yeah, uh, we get it in. Uh, have it age processing, mm -hmm. and then we bring it in. It's all Midwest uh, grade uh, beef. That's great. Choice. So we always know where it's coming from. And uh, it's a good, consistent product. That's a lot of right. flavor, a lot of it is. nice That's marbling. Right. Now this right here, you are known for, yes? Yeah. The crab cake. Yes. And this is, correct me if I'm wrong, this is your father's recipe. Yes? It is, it is. And I even asked you off camera, did you modify? You said, nope. No need to modify, because if it's not broken, you don't need to you fix don't it, fix right? That okay, so let's, let's go in. And I don't need to know the secret, but tell me, what should I be tasting here? Crab. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> Here, look at this. Oh my God. That's it. Gotta start with a good product. That's it, I like that char on the outside, mm -hmm. but it's just nice, plump, juicy on the inside. Oh my God. If you love seafood, do yourself a favor, stop here. I mean, look at this. Oh my God. That's ridiculous. We get people that come back from the beach and they're like, we finally came back from the beach and we can get a good crab cake. That's true. So. Yep. And this is personally the first time I've seen it with a char on the outside, which I love. I think it's great. It gives it different textures. That's how We like to blast it at high heat at the top and kind of give it that nice little That's how on top. That's how And of course, I've had this scalp before because I had it on the This soil. is done differently now. Okay. So how do you make these? These are broiled. Okay. And butter and, and light seasoning. Those are perfect. That's perfect. I love this. So, if you're brand new, you don't know what to get. You should get a mix real because you can mix and match. You can mix and match. That's what I always tell everybody. They ask me my first time, what do I get? Go get the mix real. You right. can mix and match and try a little bit of it. Right. And then you can upgrade, like I said, to a steak. Right. We can also go Zorba, which is uh, similar to the pasta yeah. that you. Oh, yeah. Uh, made uh, and we do it with a shrimp and we put it over top of the steak as well. Or you can get it with blue cheese crumble. Wait, let me rewind that. I want to make sure I heard that. Yeah. Did you say that you could put the Zorba pasta on top of this too? Yeah. You can go Zorba style Zorba on any steak. On any of the steaks. So instead of having an Oscar steak, it's a Zorba steak. Yes, yeah. sir. So, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that that's what that was. <laughs> now, my question is with that. Does that come with a pillow, right? <laughs> or defibrillator pads, we, right? We, we can make it all happen. <laughs> okay, so now let me get into the story a little bit. You've owned it for 21 years, yes? Yes. yes. Okay, so when you took over from when you started, because this is a pretty big restaurant, and like, like I mentioned in the beginning off camera, when we pulled up, I didn't realize it was going to be this deep. We're coming around the corner, and Austin said, oh, wow. And I'm like, what is it? He said, look at the dining room. It's giant. Yes. Plus, you have the patio, too. Yes. 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 So what did you do from when you took it over until now? Well, everything. everything. <laughs> like, that's the structure. Okay. Revamped it. Okay. Yeah. We, it, the foundation was here. Yeah. You know, the bones were here, I guess they wouldn't say. But... Uh, you know, it needed a little work. It was scoring, paint, you know, ceilings, everything from parking. electrical to electric. floors to yeah. equipment okay. in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, well, no, and I walked to the kitchen. The kitchen is spotless and yeah. half. Yeah. And it was. Yeah. It, it was bright in there. We try to take pride yeah. on our, you know, yeah. keep the place clean. Oh yes. no, absolutely. I mean, it was when I walked in. The first thing I noticed, like you can actually see in here, because I've been in a lot of kitchens. It's kind of dark. No. Yeah. You yeah. can literally see it, like. Okay, I saw the floor and I'm like, oh wow, this is pretty impressive. Yeah. And you're like, look behind the line. And I'm like, see, <laughs> I, I can almost see myself in the stainless steel. It, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, I like the guys to take pride in the kitchen. We so, gotta take pride in keeping place clean. Right. So and you grew up in restaurants, right? Because your father used to have restaurants, yes. is that right? Yes. My okay. family did too. We both grew up in restaurants. Yes. Okay. Our whole lives. Yeah. Okay. 
So oh, wow. my dad had the rustic in in Shippensburg in uh, 78, I believe he okay. got into that. Uh, long story short, yeah. he, got, he got out of the business in 98. Okay. And then I kind of jumped around, did a, some F&B work in hotels. And, right. and I just, I'm like, we need to get a, a restaurant of our own. We opened a, a restaurant with my brother, the North Never Grill. Okay. Very successful, good restaurant, nice. burger, beer joint place, nice place downtown. Um, but then we got the opportunity to buy this place and we slowly, but surely got it to where it needed to be. Yeah. Wow. Let me tell you, I've been thoroughly impressed from when we walked in. You got the Saganaki cheese, you got to get it. I mean, mm -hmm. come on. If you don't get it, there's something wrong. If you're lactose intolerant, I'm sure they make medicine for it. I'm not a doctor, <laughs> so it's for entertainment purposes only. That, that, that sorba, that the shrimp and scallop sorba pasta was amazing. Amazing. And for me, one of the best things was that I wasn't expecting that feta on it. I'm like, okay, I'll try it. it was, and I ate the whole thing. Yeah. You did. It was gone. He was showing me the plate. <laughs> I'm proud. I, I, I walked up there and said, it was clearly terrible. <laughs> Plus That's you have stuff. this, this is an amazing dish. And I love the fact that you can just come in and kind of mix and match to try different things, Yes. Yep. which is great. So for the people who are indecisive, hey, make the choice, two yeah. different choices. You want some stuffed shrimp and scallops, get them both. If you want a crab cake, you don't know, right. get all three. You want right. salmon, we even have pasta on the mix grill. Yeah. So if you want like a crab and cheese tortellini, uh, that's available. Uh, yep. A pork chop or ribs. Uh, that's yeah, all wow. part of the mixed grill. Wide variety. Chicken that's parmesan. Amazing. Well, and when you just mentioned that you can make the steak zorba, because of course people have seen steak Oscar. Well, the, the new way to do it is a steak zorba. Okay, <laughs> with the pasta, and the shrimp, yeah. and the stuff, the whole thing. Yes. That's that's the new way to do it. I love it. I mean, this restaurant, I'm gonna tell you right now, hands down, 1,000% certified legit. Love this restaurant. Thank Where you. can people find you online? RusticTavern.com. Okay. Yep, that's our website. We're also on Facebook. Okay. So we do have a Facebook page as well. But, uh, yep. Okay. Fantastic. You can also find a full listing for them on America's Best Restaurants. Look, this food's amazing. I'm going to continue eating this. And we're going to see you on the next segment. For me. Seriously. <laughs> Enjoy. You know, one of my favorite phrases is, you can never judge a book by its cover, but you can by its first few chapters and most certainly by its last. And that's the way that you gotta see the Rustic Tavern because I thought I was gonna walk in to get some burgers and wings and I was incredibly surprised, especially with the shrimp and scallop Zorba, that pasta. Oh my God, it was unbelievable. You heard where you can find them online and again, this place is 1,000% certified legit. So when you are in the area, Carlisle, Pennsylvania, do yourself a favor and stop by because the only person that's missing is you. You gotta stop by this restaurant. That's it for us on this episode of America's Best Restaurants. We're gonna see you on the next one.